Former President Donald Trump is expected to surrender to the Fulton County Jail in Atlanta tomorrow as more of his co-defendants turn themselves in today. At the top of that list today, Rudy Giuliani. He was booked and photographed for a mugshot, then released on a $150,000 bond. That's the second highest bail total to Trump's $200,000 bond. Now the city of Atlanta is making security preparations for tomorrow. Fox's Rebecca Castor has our story. Ahead of a Friday deadline, more of former President Donald Trump's alleged co-conspirators are turning themselves into authorities. A busy day in Fulton County, Georgia on Wednesday, as Rudy Giuliani and other Donald Trump allies negotiated bond and surrender in their election interference case. The former New York City mayor calls the case a, quote, political prosecution and says he's confident he'll be proven innocent. I'm fighting for justice. I have been from the first moment. I represented Donald Trump, an innocent man who has now been proven innocent several times. Mr. Trump plans to surrender on Thursday, and security at the jail will be tight. The sheriff's office says the building will be on a hard lockdown and some public transportation will be rerouted when he arrives. It's time for, time for him to be held accountable. On Wednesday, protesters began arriving outside the jail, some coming in from across the country to voice their support for the former president. I'm one of millions that support him. A lot of people can't come today. I'll be here. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis wants the trial to start as early as March. Legal experts say the proceedings will likely come with a high price tag. The man hours, the police, uh, court, district attorney's office. Uh, I think the marker the public can look at is like the O.J. Simpson trial, which ran into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. On Thursday morning, Trump supporters say they plan to hold a rally of support outside the Fulton County Jail. In Atlanta, Rebecca Castor, Fox 4 News.